Father. So for you, I thought we have some people outside. Yes. Okay, colleagues, you are let me when you are ready, when you are all live and ready, and for those with microphones. <laughs> Let me have those uh, microphones. Present to be speaking, let's just talk. Good evening to all of you and the audience that is uh, watching us by social media. Um, we are here at uh, the Anti Corruption Commission, Anti Corruption House uh, on Chachacha Road in the middle of uh, CBD. Uh, Honorable GBM, Honorable uh, GBM and his lawyer, Jonas Zimba, were appearing. <laughs> For a matter that is uh, in court, um, I think there's been some questioning, and uh, there's been no charge, no nothing. We'll hear from the ACC later. But as a party and the acting president, to deliver our concerns and our views about this harassment, uh, we are glad that there is a huge turnout of the police here uh, that are here, and uh, we hope that they will maintain the peace and security. For a boxing president, this harassment from the SEC and the continued harassment of our members. Thank you. Well, let me first say thank you to Inspector General of Police. Every time when any member of the Patriotic Front appears at any police station, when they appear at court, when they appear at any law enforcement agency office, there is heavy presence of police. We want to thank. Uh, Inspector General of Police, thank you for providing so much police presence. It is very good. We can see that you really want us protected and continue to protect us so much, Inspector General. Thank you. We feel very protected when we come to law enforcement agency offices. Now, this matter obviously is a matter that uh, all Zambians are aware of. People know that my friend here, the Chairman for Mobilization, Geoffrey Gualiamuamba is in court. He was arrested by the Anti-Corruption Commission facing corruption charges. And in the process of him trying to defend himself in court, the Anti-Corruption Commission, the same people arrested him, have said don't produce certain evidence. We want to tell you which evidence to produce and which one not to produce. Now, I want to appeal to Anti-Corruption Commission, please go and dispel the evidence in court. Don't intimidate the man and say, don't produce this evidence. This evidence we can't rely on. No, your duty is to go to court and prove to the court that the evidence he's producing is not correct. Don't intimidate the man. Otherwise, then, how is he going to defend himself? How shall we be defending ourselves if you arrest us? We bring documents to court and we say, no, this document is irregular. How then shall we defend ourselves? You can't be the ones who are arresting us and you prosecute us and you also judge us. An opportunity to produce whatever he wants. If he wants, he can even produce useless newspaper and he says, This is my evidence. Prove in court that what you have produced is useless. Don't intimidate the man, please. You know, please, please. This man just wants to prove his innocence. It's up to him to decide what he thinks is evidence. No one should stop him, please. Anyway, we, 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 we are also quite perturbed that uh, there are six lawyers defending this man and only one lawyer has been picked. The other five have nothing to do with it and yet they are defending the same person. Now Jonas Zimba must also start answering questions to SEC. Instead of him going to defend the client, now he's going to start answering. If Jonas is arrested as well, then who's going to defend Waliamwam? Please, the Anti-Corruption Commission, please, show us that in Zambia there is rule of law and that justice shall prevail and be seen to prevail. Thank you very much, but uh, we're happy. I want to again thank uh, IG. Please mobilize more police officers. Tomorrow we're appearing in court. Munia Zulu is appearing in court. Please bring plenty police officers.